Welcome to the Optimist Newscast. I'm Hannah Knoll. The ACU Medical and Counseling Care Center is preparing for flu season. The clinic is offering flu shots for $25 to all faculty, staff, and students. The MAC will host 10 clinics from now through November 3rd. The clinic is also offering prizes for flu preparedness. Here at ACU, some fake news that's going around is that sing song causes the flu. But that's actually not true. It's just that the flu usually hits about the same time that we traditionally have sing song. So protect yourself and your fellow sing song castmates and get the flu shot this year. We'll have 10 clinics over the course of October and early November. We'll be all over campus to make it convenient for you. It's a quick and easy process. This year, we're excited to announce our social media campaign that goes hand in hand with our flu shot campaign. If you get a flu shot this year, you also have the chance to enter a drawing to win one of several gift cards donated by generous local businesses, including restaurants and Cinemark Movie Theater. For the chance to win a gift card, follow the ACU Clinic on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Get your flu shot by November 3rd and post a selfie showing off your bandage with the hashtag ACU Flu Fighter. ACU's typical Friday chapel was replaced by a presentation of a match made in heaven. Earl Young, a former ACU track runner and Olympic gold medalist, returned to campus to bring awareness to the importance of donating bone marrow. Young found his match, which was one out of 25 million, and was given a bell in honor of his efforts to help the International Registry make it to 10,000 people. Young introduced the crowd to another match made in heaven, Landa Dowdy, a former track and field runner at ACU, registered as a donor after hearing Earl Young's story. A year later, she had the opportunity to finish the process and donate. Dowdy met her recipient, Dustin Santoni, for the first time over a year after her donation saved his life. Donation booths were set up around the Coliseum so that students and faculty could sign up for the International Registry. Two senior multimedia majors, Forrest Lorenzen and John Puckett, are participating in the Orlando Film Fest. The students will screen their ACU Film Fest submission from last year, Intergalactic Tales of the Delusional Mind. Lorenzen says they will network with other filmmakers on the trip. I think what we're looking for is networking. Um, when we sent this out to festivals, that was always the original intent, you know. Um, a lot of it isn't so much about your skills or your talent, um, a lot of it is a lot of it is just about who you know and how you know them. Um, and so making those connections is what we're primarily looking for in Orlando. Finally, last week's Abilene NPR radio station 89.5 KACU exceeded its fundraising goal. The station raised more than $38,000 after five days of fundraising. Pledge Drive Week features guest speakers who showcase the station's community support. Some guests and sponsors for KACU offer donation matching for certain hours or full days. That's all for this week. For more campus news and events, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ACU Optimist. For the Optimist Newscast, I'm Hannah Null.